Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Um, this is going to be kind of a two part video. I've had a ton of people that have contacted us in the last little while, still contacting us. Uh, everybody seems to be concerned about if the power goes out, uh, the grid goes down for any reason, how do they keep their food cold in the fridge or the freezer? So, I'm going to go over some different options or a different option for that. And I also want to do just a quick review on the uh, EcoFlow. It's the River 2 Max, it's their brand new, smaller portable power station, solar generator, whatever you want to call it. They also have one that's a bit larger. Um, so first let's talk about the River 2 Max and then we're going to talk about basically uh, another option that maybe some people haven't thought about in regards to um, powering, let's say, um, uh, just basically keeping the food cold. So regarding the River 2 Max, um, very lightweight. It's just over 13 pounds. It's either 13.2 or 13.4 pounds. So very lightweight. You can see very small form factor. Uh, the other thing about it is it is the new battery chemistry. So I believe it's 3,000 life cycles is what it has, which is quite good. Basically, you're going to get pretty much almost 10 years out of it if you had to use it 365 days out of the year before the battery would degrade to 80%. Um, the other thing about it is this one is only um, the battery capacity on it is a 512 watt hours. But we're going to go into that. I'm going to use this ISCO uh, portable. It's well, not portable. It's a um, more of like a camping overlanding type fridge freezer. It's a dual zone 65 liter. I've got a Dometic 75 liter right here as well too. That's attached to our South African trailer. But I, so I'm going to use that as an example a little later in the video and compare it to the standard fridge we have in the house. Just to give you guys some perspective on run times of how long a standard fridge is going to run compared to, let's say, something like this. But here, back to the, um, the River 2 Max. I used this guy to run the test and I ran it for several hours, which we'll go over in a little bit. But what I'm really liking about this unit is um, how, how it's all designed. So basically, you've got four 110 plugins on it. They're rated for 500 watts, but it does have your X boost where you can actually go up to 1,000 watts. So that's going to basically run, let's say, 80% of the devices in your home. So any of the higher output devices, definitely you would need a larger power station. It does have three USB ports, a USB type C, and actually this is really neat. I'm going to show you something. I've got a Blue Eddy power station here, USB type C plug-in. And the way they've designed it, you can actually now let's plug this guy in. You can actually charge directly from a USB type C port. It should go up to about almost 100 watts. Yeah, there we go. 97 about 97 watts going in, being powered from this power station. So it just makes it quite handy that they've offered that now. And I'll be blunt, like with their new River 2 Max, and we're hoping to review the River 2 Pro here shortly, they, they've got winners here. These are awesome, awesome products for how lightweight they are, for what they deliver for um, power out, and definitely the power in, which I'll go over in a moment. Um, and then the battery chemistry, that they're using the newer battery chemistry that's going to give you that longevity. So this will charge in approximately an hour or less from the wall. Because I'm just trying to remember what it is now for the power in. Um, shoot. I believe it's about 600 watts it'll take in from the wall. So if this was at 0% and you wanted to charge quickly, let's say you have a rolling blackout situation. This is going to charge from the wall or a gas generator um in less than an hour which is phenomenal you compare it to the blue eddies on the market the um the jackeries the gold zeros any of those they take let's say like a unit like this which is a larger battery capacity it's 720 watt hours would be let's say four or five hours which is quite well, actually no it's five to six hours is what it would take so it would take quite a bit longer to me based on our interesting world that we're in right now that's a deal breaker um, I wouldn't want to rely on this. I would want to rely more on this because of how quickly it charges and having the better, uh, batter, uh, better uh, battery ca uh, chemistry as well too. Um, the other thing is it will charge obviously from your cigarette lighter plugging in your vehicle. Comes with all the cables from that. But um, where there, I think this is the big winner on this is, and I'm going to uh, do a comparison with both of these, your solar input on this. They greatly increased it. So it's 220 watts max, uh, it's 13 amps, but the big thing is it's 50 volts. A lot of people don't realize volts are more important to know than your watts. Um, so here, let's use this guy as an example here. 
and I'll just read it here. So this is rated up to 20, 28 volts, so literally half of this, and 200, uh, 200 watts. So basically, when you compare these two models, and the Jackeries are going to be in this, in this ballpark as well too, and the Goal Zeros, and pretty much all the others on the market, being that you can go higher volts, not to get all technical, just basically means you can put more solar on it, and better quality solar, like our solar blankets, what we offer right here. You can utilize these to charge even quicker because you can over wattage any solar generator, but you can't over voltage. But if they give you a lesser amount of voltage, it's basically less versatility when charging from solar. So for them to do that with this and their new River 2 Pro, that's awesome that they can do that. Like that really, again, you can now charge a lot quicker from solar. And it, again, with our interesting time, that just or interesting times right now, I think that makes a huge, huge difference. Um, I'm just trying to think what else to say about this guy. Um, I guess here, let's talk about uh, the uh, a different option here for you. So I did a test. I ran the fridge that we have in the house. It's got the dual, like the dual French doors at the top, the freezer at the bottom, your standard type of fridge that you have. This was only able to run it for anywhere between, let's say, three to five hours or three to six hours. The reason I give you a, um, a realm like that depends on how full your fridge is. So if you've got a lot of food in there already and there's not a lot of air that has to be cooled, let's call it dead air, then if those items are already chilled, it's not going to take a lot of energy to keep them chilled. So then it's going to, it's basically going to, you're going to get more hours out of it. You're going to be getting closer to six hours. However, uh, if you have a lot of dead air like I do right now in my fridge, it's not very full because we're just, we're so busy filling orders. I don't have a lot of time to go to the grocery store. Um, it's it's going to be closer to three hours and that's that's about how long I ran my fridge. Now let's use this guy as an example. I've got an Isco 65 liter um, portable fridge freezer, more for camping or overlanding. And I've got another example here. This is Dometic 75 liter fridge freezer here. This is what's actually part of our, our South African trailer. So I set this, I set one side to minus 15 Celsius, the other side to, I think it was plus four or five. I ran it and I had no food in there. So keep in mind, this will be the shortest amount of time frame that you'll see. Uh, if I had had food in there that was, that was already chilled, it would have ran longer. So I used the EcoFlow River 2 Max to run it and I got 26 hours out of it, out of a 512 watt hour battery capacity battery. That's phenomenal. Like that's really, really good. Let's see, so let's use another example. We've got, uh, actually right here. So here's the EcoFlow Delta 2. That means you get about double the amount of time frame out of it because that's just over a thousand watt hours. We've got our EcoFlow Delta uh, Max right here, which is over 2000 watt hours, or the Blue Eddy without the expansion battery. This would be four times the amount. If you're using the Blue Eddy with the expansion battery, you're you're what, 4,040 or 2,048 times two. So you're almost at um, 4,100 watt hours. You're going to be eight times. So eight times 26 hours is how long this would run. And then just to kind of give perspective on that as well too, this guy would run my fridge freezer in the house for let's say about, uh, and I'm going to give you ballpark again, it would be say 12 to 16 hours. So 12 to 16 hours versus... 26 hours times four, which is again, just over hundred year. What, what is that? 104 hours. So you see the difference if it's within your budget and you're concerned, my recommendation would be get one of these. We don't sell them. I'm just letting you know what I do and what works for me. Um, I would get something like the ice co is a, an excellent brand. Uh, the Dometic, as you can see back here, this is an excellent brand as well too. However, the ice co is about half or less than half the price. I believe these guys, they had their Black Friday uh, sale. It was $849 US, less 20%. So they'll probably have another sale, I would think, um, for Boxing Day. And if not, even $849 is a phenomenal price for what you're getting. Because you have 65 liters that you can put in there. I don't know what that is in quartz. Um, but you have one side that you can do fridge or both sides or one side fridge, one side freezer, or both side freezers. And then I would just recommend you use your DC plug, your cigarette lighter plug in, because it's gonna draw less power than uh, if you're drawing from the wall. So that's what I wanted to do, is just basically go over the EcoFlow River 2 Max, which is a phenomenal product. 
very very inexpensive it's on our website right now i believe they're 419 dollars on sale regular 499 uh we have paired it with uh, we've created a package on our website i'll have the links below as well guys so with one of our 120 watt solar blankets that's this guy right here so the 120 watt solar blanket is going to charge this guy from zero to 100 percent in just over four hours in perfect sun situation our 220 watt solar blanket which is this one right here um same thing it's going to charge this guy from zero to 100 percent in under it would be just under uh what would it be two yeah just under three hours is what it would be i'll double check and if i make a mistake on that just because my a little tired from all the work we've been doing so my math isn't working correctly here but it's it would charge unbelievably quickly so we have package deals we just put on our website yesterday i'll cl i'll include links to those um but just here's another option for you guys so for those that are concerned about keeping their food cold if it's within your budget you can go now with a lesser expensive power station a good quality solar product like our solar blankets and you can have this and the bonus is you can take it with you let's say you want to take a camping or i hate saying it you got to get out of dodge because there's we're in civil unrest whatever it is you need to leave you can bring your food with you you can run it off of your you can plug it into your vehicle while you're driving and when you're not using it for that you can run it off of one of the power stations and then we also do offer solar bug out kits that you can run or you can power your battery in your vehicle without having to run the engine so your battery never dies as well too so there's there's a lot of options out there but either way guys i just want to let you know go over all of that let all of you know as well too we've got plenty of stock um for any of our american customers our solar generators they are uh, shipping from the u.s warehouses in texas and california um, our solar blankets and our cables they obviously come from us we're in calgary alberta we are shipping worldwide so anybody seeing these videos right now our website just so you know it is set up for north american shipping so if you're from europe and we talk to people from europe on a daily basis that are ordering from us um, if you put it in your cart and it doesn't give you a shipping option just shoot us an email and i'll just manually um i'll manually set that i'll manually give you pricing for that we just haven't had time to set that up because we're too busy filling orders but yeah here's another option for you here um any questions let me know my name is rennie i'm the owner of the company i'd be happy to answer your questions i'll make sure my email and my phone number are in the bottom as well too and we'll put them at the back end of this and please like and su subscribe uh if you like our content um i know my my videos are a little less polished than some of them i don't read from a script I just say it how it is i let you know what works for me um what works for customers based on conversations we're having with customers either in person over the phone or via email where we're trading ideas um on on different ways to provide power remote or not remote but portable uh lightweight deployable power okay guys um either way enjoy the rest of your day it's we're chilly here we're uh it's below minus 30 out there before wind chill so i'm doing the the video in the garage right now but either way have a great rest of your day any questions reach out i'd be happy to answer them for you and i will say this if i don't reply in 24 hours i always tr I strive to but we're, we're inundated right now with phone calls and emails um just be patient well we, we try to get to you within 48 hours worst case scenario okay have a great rest of your day we'll talk to you soon thanks Sam. bye